Hello, hi, a very, very happy good evening. So this is Krishna Vaini. We're talking about the story of life on Earth and that's biology. So here we are playing the Menti quiz. So as promised, every Saturday we are supposed to play Menti. But last Saturday I couldn't get the Menti. So here I am with the Menti quiz today. So not to disappoint you, the question for your Menti syllabus is your morphology of flowering plants. So we're just going to play 15 questions and it's going to be really interesting. So you'll have the leaderboard twice. Uh, so probably thrice, right? So one after question five. 5, 1 after question 10 or 15 so probably there are only three leaderboard so you can join the mentee by using the code 33951571 so the mentee code is 33951571 it is on the screen so please kindly join the mentee so it's going to be a very easy mentee so i've taken only the previous year question so come on i already have two participants so thank you so much for joining my mentee Yes, Aryan, a very, very happy uh, good evening. So I have Sintu, hello, hi. So thank you so much for joining my mentee this evening. And I also hope your preparation is going on in full swing and you're all uh, dedicatedly preparing for your NEET exam. Yes? Okay, so Prince Jane, hello, hi. So you are a part of my new class. So thank you so much. Even I'm very pleased to meet you. So make sure you join my mentee quiz. Come on, quick. All right, so I have four participants. I'll wait for one more minute for others to join and then we'll begin. So make it quick. Come on. Yes, done joining. So it's just going to be 15 minutes, uh, 15 questions and each question has a time limit of only 25 seconds. So I don't think it's really tough. You can do it. Come on, quick. Yes, ready? Yes, Pavitra Malni, a very, very happy good evening. Thank you so much for joining my mentee today. So please do like, share and subscribe. Yes, come on. Yes, done joining the mentee. Quick, quick. Okay, so I don't think uh, we are waiting any longer. So I'm really sorry for the delay. Actually, the class should have started at 5.30. So due to a technical issue, people were just checking out what's happening. So it took us time. But I don't want to keep my participants waiting. So let's begin. Others can join in. For all those who are new and do not know how to join Menti, so please log on to menti.com and type the Menti code. That's there on the board, double three nine five one five seven one. That is your Menti code. Right? Yes. So here we move forward. So we go to the first question for the evening. So the first question of the mentee is on your screen. So please listen and read the question properly and then attempt. In Baugin Villa, the thorns are modification of adventitious root, the stem, the leaf or the stipules. So in Baugin Villa, the thorns are the modifications of adventitious root, stem, leaf or stipules. Come on quick, so it's not a very tough question, it's a straightforward question from your NCRT. So your NCRT is your Bible, so once again I'm telling you, you have to read your NCRT thoroughly. Yes, and the right answer is, alright, so the leaves are the right answer, so absolutely right, so very good going. So we move to the next question, so question 2 of 15, yes guys ready? So here we go, question 2 of 15. So you answer fast, you get more points, okay? An example of edible underground stem is carrot, groundnut, sweet potato, potato. So once again, it's my humble request to so please read the question. It's underground stem. So now select the answer. Yes, come on quick. So it does not take all 25 seconds. It takes only 5 seconds to answer this question. And your answer is quick, quick, quick. Right, it's potato, so potato is the stem modification, absolutely right. So we go to question 3 of 15, so question number 3. Phyllode is present in asparagus, euphorbia, australian acacia, octunia. So phyllode is a type of modification of what? The leaf here is modified to perform the function of a stem that is your phyllode. So where it is present, so compare, talking about this chapter, the examples are very, very important. So now tell me what is the right answer here? Now tell me what is the right answer here? And the right answer is your Australian Acacia. That's the right answer. Absolutely right. Very good. So here we move to the next question. Yes, ready for the next question. So here we move. So question 4 of 14. So are the questions interesting? Are you guys enjoying? So question 4 on your screen. The ovary is half inferior in brinjal, mustard, sunflower, plum. So I also give you a clue. If it's half inferior, it is perigynous condition. So which of the following given here is an example of your perigynous condition? Quick, quick, 
Come on, so this takes only 5 seconds, not 25 seconds, so quick. Quick. So what is the answer? So it's plum, perigynous, I have given you the trick. So perigynous starts with P, so the example is plum, peach, both are P, right, and rose. So these three are the examples, so please make sure you remember the examples well. So here we come to question 5 or 15, so here we go, question number 5. Free central placentation is found in Diamthus, Argimon, Brassica, Citrus. So it's a type of placentation where it is not, it does not, it's not having any septum and it is freely suspended in the centum. So it is found in which of the following Diamthus, Argimon, Brassica or Citrus? Yes, come on. Which one? Yes, quick. All right, yes, the first one is absolutely right. Very good, okay. Okay, so here we have the leaderboard. Okay, so Nishra is here. So he never misses my mentee. Absolutely good. Okay, so the fastest is Nishrag and he's on top. So he never gives his position. Very good. So I have Prince Jane, future doctor. Absolutely brilliant. So you have played really well. So I have Aryan Daksh. Very good. Diksha. Chintu and Elsa, perfect. So thank you so much and congratulations for being on the leaderboard. So here we go to question number 6 of 15. Yes, ready? So question number 6. When the margins of sepals or petals overlap one another without any particular direction, the condition is termed as vexillary, imbrigate, twisted or velvet. So, aestivation is an important concept for your neat exam. So, here, when I say it does not overlap in any particular direction. So, what is the example? Come on, quick. Vexillary, imbricate, twisted, valvate and this does not take time. So, it's a direct example that they are asking you. So, it is imbricate. That is the right answer. Right? Okay. Okay. So, we move forward. So, question 7 of 15. So, here we go. Question number 7. Placentation in tomato and lemon is parietal, it's free central, marginal or axial. So what is the type of placentation in tomato and lemon? So I am telling you once again guys, examples are absolutely important when you talk about this topic. Yes, please give me the example. Yes, quick. Parietal, free central, marginal, axial. Okay. Exile, right? Absolutely right. Very good. You guys are doing good. I'm shocked and impressed. You are doing good with the examples as well. So question 8 of 15. Ovary is half inferior in the flowers of peach, cucumber, cotton, goa. So half inferior is once again your perigynous. And with regard to the same, the last question I gave you the answer for this question. So please think it is again perigynous condition. So how will you find the example? So do it quickly. Come on. It should not take all 25 seconds. It should hardly take 2 seconds, not more. So the answer is speech. Absolutely right. So I move forward to the next question. So question 9 or 15. So here we go. So question number 9 on your screen. Cotton fr okay, coconut fruit is a berry, nut, capsule or a droop. So coconut fruit is which of the following is a berry, is a nut, is a capsule or a droop. So it's again a line standard from your NCRT. There are no twists and turns to this. Yes, and the right answer is, come on, who is still answering? Droop, absolutely right. So we go to question 10 or 15. Yes, ready? So question number 10 on your screen. So here we go. The body of the ovule is fused within the, uh, uh, sorry, funicle at which of the following? Hylum, micropyle, nucellus, chalesa. It is not finical, it is funical. I am sorry for this typo and spelling error. So the body of the ovule is fused with the funical at which of the junction? Hylum, micropyle, nucellus, chalesa. N. So I hope you have understood and this question is pretty easy, right? Yes, what is the answer? The answer is hylum. Yes, absolutely right. Fantastically played. So we go to the next, okay, I have the leaderboard. So, okay, so all of you have put in a lot of efforts. Very good. So, once again, Nishrag is on top and fastest. Many, many congratulations. So, Prince, Aryan, Diksha, Chintu, Wiki has also improved. Very good. So, congratulations for being on the leaderboard. Fantastic. So, we do the last set of five questions. So, question 11 or 15 and the last, uh, and the question number 11 on the board. Pentamerous actinomorphic flowers 
bicarpillary ovary with oblique septum and the fruit is capsule or berry are characteristic features of Rivliaceae, Astraceae, Bresticaceae, Solanaceae. So when you talk about the families, there are only three families, Leguminaceae, Solanaceae and Liliaceae, right? So how do you remember them with the G, right? The gynecium is single in Febaceae, two in Solanaceae and three in Liliaceae. So here it is said bicapillary, so undoubtedly, blindly, it is Solanaceae, yes, absolutely, right? So we got a question 12 of 15, so here we go, right? So question 12 of 15. Here we are. The roots that originate from the base of the stem are fibrous roots, primary roots, prop roots, lateral roots. Wow, what an easy question, right? So the roots that originate from the base of the stem are which of the following? Fibrous roots, primary roots, prop roots or lateral roots. Come on and the answer is? Yes, quick. Fibrous roots, yes, absolutely right, good going. So, I move forward to the next question. So, question 13 or 15. So, here we go, question number 13. Which of the following is not a stem modification? I repeat, which of the following is not a stem modification? Tendrils of cucumber, flattened structure of octunia, picture of naphthes and thorns of citrus, which is not a modification of stem, that is what I want. And the right answer is, come on, it's very easy. You have to think, not a stem modification. So one of the given thing is a leaf modification. So please find out which one that is. Picture plant is a leaf modification. So that is the right answer, option C. So we got a question 14 or 15, last but one question on your screen. Question number 14, flowers are zygomorphic in mustard, gulmohar, tomato and datura. So zygomorphic symmetry is bilateral symmetry. So the example that I told you is PUBG, if you remember, I have given you the clue. So now please give me the example. Yes, quick. Come on, please don't take much time, quick. Yes, done. The right answer is Gulmohar. Yes, absolutely right. So, one last question on your screen for this evening. So, question 15 of 15. So, here we go. Question number 15 on your screen. Keel is characteristic of the flowers of Gulmohar, Keshia, Calotropis, Bean. So, keel is a type of a flower, sorry, it's a type of petal arrangement, right? So, it is present in which of the following? It's a type of vexillary, vexillary estivation and vexillary estivation is very common in leguminous plants and B is a leguminous plant, absolutely right. So, fantastically played. So, that was a brilliant game. So, here we have the last leaderboard for the evening. So, here we go. So, I guess the fastest and the winner is Nishra. Absolutely good. So, it's a hat trick for the third time. He's in the notice board, the leaderboard. So, thank you so much and many, many congratulations. So, I wish you all the very best for your exam, Nishra, and hope you clear your neat exam with a lot of good marks. And Prince, Aryan, Diksha, Chintu, and Vicky, all the best to you too. I hope you guys succeed well and come out with flying colors. And thank you so much for joining my mentee and being on the leaderboard. So, thank you once again. So, with this, we wind up the session. So, all I wish you is good health happiness and all the success in your NEET exam. So waiting to see you as doctor soon. So thank you so much. So until then stay tuned and take care. Thank you. Bye.